Girl, this is so sweet. This smells so sweet. It's you so it? good. I love it. I told you, Fuente Brothers. I said Fuente. You, I you approved it. Oh shit, hold on. Barney's, but I had to show you my coffee. I ordered a an iced latte. Look at this glass they brought it in for me. I feel so I feel like just so bougie. <laughs> No, I literally never ever want to drink iced coffee in glass other than this one again. <laughs> It's so good too. I got three shots in it instead of just regular one too. Barney's dressing room. I always do that now, right? Let me show you my outfit today. I'm just gonna try on these shirts. It's never weighing. I feel like this one would be okay with no bra. I think I don't know, but I can't, I'm not sure if I love it. But I almost feel like these like are so long. I don't know. I feel like I could do something more than just a shirt with them. So I could, I could like wear it as a tunic and a dress or something too, kind of tunic or a shirt. I mean. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get those Alexander Wang t-shirts I showed you guys in the black and white. And I'm getting them in all large. And here's this cute, in case you guys want it. I just kinda like them because they're long, um, so I feel like I can wear them as tunics and tees. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's Hi. Hi. Yes, thank you. The cider. Do you find Barney's New York? Right okay. Yeah, this is part of the But you don't have a Well, I do have size. It's a big one thing. Yeah, I just need to see if I need Oh, oh, okay. So we don't care about this. Is it for each designer? Yeah, sorry. Uh, all the, we have all the girls, but it's not in Yeah, I'll turn it to the designer. Okay, I'm going to try to see. No worries. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just get a Diet Coke to go, please? Thank you. Oh, with, with ice? Yeah, and a cup to go. Thank you. No, he is not. If he's if he's nice, he will be. If he's nice, he'll say he'll say it was nice to meet you, bro. He's not that famous, Nick. It's not that big of a deal.
Ha ha ha. Thank you, I appreciate it. Tom Ford? So why don't you just buy it? I want to show them what I bought really quick. Let's go back to Chanel. I want to show you, I bought this fragrance. Let me know what you guys think because I've been trying to like love the Chanel fragrances but I just can't. And finally I was like, I'm just going to choose one. Remember these because like the bottles are so pretty. I got this one. The Eau de Cologne. And because it just smells like fresh and pretty. I go to, to Rodeo now. It's so cute. Um, because there's just wasn't anything here. I'm like, I think it's like, remember I told you guys I wasn't like really into any of the um, fashion or anything right now. So, so I'm like, Sacks. Neiman or Sacks? I don't know. Chanel. I went and tried on this all velvet mint, um, Chanel bag with black hardware. It was really, really pretty. I kind of feel like, shh, like that's very wintry, you know what I mean? Wow, look at that Rolls. Aren't, aren't Rolls Royce is like all handmade? Isn't that what it is? Okay, so I want to make dinner tonight, and I'm just going to quickly guys show you guys what I bought. So I love when I go to um, sushi places. I, I've mentioned in a vlog before that I don't like to eat rice. I just feel like it, it I don't know what, it's like a, just carbs. Like it's just solid carbs. It doesn't do much. Not like To me, it's just like a lot of calories for nothing. Like, I, I don't know. I love rice, but I don't know. It's too many calories. Hi. So I love like sashimi salads when I go to... Um, sushi restaurants. You guys are crazy. I will give you a treat in a second. Just stop. Um, so I went and got, let me show you guys what I got to make. This is like a bad angle. You can't even like see me. I feel like I should be back here, but anyway. Um, okay, so I got salmon. And there's a market, Japanese market downtown, or it's actually a Korean market downtown. I, I get it. This from there. I got some octopus. Um, I got some yellowtail. I'm just going to like cut it up. And then I got avocado. You guys can't see me. Avocado. I got some seaweed salad for it. So they have already built salads there you can buy. But there's something in there. I've been, I've been eating this, this Korean market salads there for like years since I moved downtown, since I lived there. But I don't, there's something in it that tastes really funky. So I like to just buy the fish on my own and make it now. They put this on it. And I, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. But I kind of like wanted something to make it more like sashimi salad -y, so I bought that. Um, okay, then I'm going to show you guys what else I bought. But I want to show you the ingredients because when I put it all together, you're not going to really be able to tell. I'm crouching so you can see me too. Oh yeah, then I bought some masago, which is um, this like Japanese, not Japanese, but it's like this orange fish, like caviar fish roll. It's not expensive, I think it's like $5. And then... Um, I like this black caviar, and I just eat it like a spoonful, like so bougie, right? <laughs> and I just like it. I love caviar, um, and it's like cheap caviar. And then I got some um, green onions. I thought that would be good on there, just like maybe like julienne, is that what it's called? And then I just got some of this um, like spring mixed greens. Okay, for the dressing, this is like the kind of dressing they would normally put on it. You guys know I'm trying to keep away from dressings, but. Um, two tablespoons, 50 calories, not too much. It's a sesame flavored dressing. I think that might be good just a little bit. And then I love tempura dress, tem tempura sauce. So if you guys like, everyone loves tempura. So the sauce they give you um, for tempura, I like to use this instead of um, 
soy sauce sometimes and it's like the same amount of like sodium and everything. And I also got some light soy sauce. So just to put on a little bit and a cucumber. So I will show you in the end. It's so delish, so good. Um, it was expensive, but I'll like, you know, I'm making a couple salads tonight. So it'll be, it'll be fine. I think the total bill for this, and I did get like some peanuts and an apple. I'm oh, sorry, I got a peach. Um, it was $54. But I'm going to be making, like, I could, look at how much fish I got. Like, it's, you know, it's a nice fish. So, three different kinds. So, and caviar, right? Like, you can't beat that. Okay. So, I'll show you guys in the end. Hey, guys. Here's my salad. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I did it. Sorry. Okay. So, this is the yellow tail, just, like, cubed. And some salmon. Some octopus. Avocado. I didn't, like, cut mine up very nice. Ooh, there's a pit. Let me get that out. Um. Ugh. Um, some avocado, I didn't cut mine off very nice, so I'm really hungry. Um, cucumbers, some green onion in there, and this is that seaweed salad, and the masago on top is honestly, ugh, it's not that good, but I think once I, like, mix it up, it'll be good. And then I did try this brand, um, Miz, Mizkan, M-I-Z-K-A-N, sesame flavor dressing. Really good, tastes like the kind that you would get on the Japanese, sorry, I'm, like, burping, oh my gosh, restaurant. Um, but I think I'm just going to put some, like, to, I think I'm going to use that, but maybe on the side, I'm just going to put some soy sauce on top of this. It's really light and good. Um, let me see. Let me have, I'm going to have a bite of the salmon, though. So maybe you guys want to see. This is, like, really hard to film in here. I'm always having to, like, bend over. Okay. So I just have some, here's, like, some octopus. I, I like octopus, actually, with lemon a lot, like, really cold octopus with lemon, but I didn't think about it. It's okay. It doesn't taste like much. I like the parts that have like tentacles. I like this one. This part. It's like my favorite part. That one was good. Let me try the yellow tail. Really good. I'm gonna try the salmon. My favorite. That's gonna be really good. Seaweed salad. I like to dip the seaweed salad in the um, in the soy sauce. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> hey guys, I just got my new HRH packaging in, and I wanted to show it to you. So if you remember my last vlog, or or not my last, but I think my last. No, it was like the video on. Um, Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, some, like, favorite things kind of video. Like, it's all about the details or something. I had gotten this zip, ba zip bag from con the container store, like a long pencil case zip bag. And I thought that would be so cute because I love zip bags. I don't know if you guys are, like, as obsessed with zip bags as I am since I've been, like, a kid. Um, but I thought it would be so cute to have my logo imprinted on it and then to store or to, like, deliver uh, your orders with uh, your orders inside of them. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I'm gonna be including these in crystal orders. So if you buy, like this one is, a, I'll wrap everything of course, but I just wanna show you how it's so pretty. This one is the Stack Dauphine, uh, sorry, the Stack La Lumiere. And then, so like something like that would come in it. This is um, like a, a uh, this is, sorry, the Seamless, half of the Seamless collection. So like a Seamless collection would come in it. Um, gold Seamless, anything kind of more complicated, like a crystal or like, um, and metallic cocoa would come in it, but like if you got like one choker, probably not because you know they're not like cheap for me to buy these. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, these are like this is the, the micro dauphine in the mint, and this is the Provence lavender. So, like those, that's an order, an order would go in there. And this is my new act like royalty in the flawless diamonds vintage, it's really pretty. The facets on it are incredible. It's like the most beautiful thing ever. If you don't really like a lot of color, I would suggest you get this one. It is so, like, so spectacular. These two are my new current favorites. This is my new pillow stone in the Acid Zelda. It's super rare. I've never seen anything like it. Um, and they're flying off the, sh off the shelves. Like, I posted them one time. People already ordered them. Just so you guys, those are my new ones. These would obviously come in the bag. 
gold seamless. I don't know if I said that. And then this is also more seam, uh, silver seamless. So, oh my gosh, so pretty. Like, in, if you have like all of these, like, say you got like you know a couple orders. Like, how pretty would that be if you like stacked them on your like your sh vanity? It's what I'm gonna do, or like in your drawer, and they're all just like ready to go. You can reuse them. I'm just so stoked, you guys. I, you guys know I'm really weird about things, but just like the way they feel, the way they zip, I just like can't stop. I'm so weird. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show you guys. Oh wait, one more thing. These, oh yeah, here's the chokers. These are the chokers that a lot of you guys bought in the acid Zelda, sorry, acid Clara stone. And then here is the AB one, I believe. Yeah, and here's another choker in the AB glow. Oh, I just want to show you. So I could talk about myself all day. You guys know that. And now I just like want to touch these. It just feels so good with like everything inside. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Shelby, be nice. Shelby, don't be aggressive. Be nice. There's your waist loop. Tim Ling, come here. Tim. You be nice, Salsa. Salsa, don't. Salsa, be nice. Come here, Tim. Come here, Tim. Tim Ling, come here. Come on. Salsa, come say hi. Shelby, Shelby, come say hi. Guys, say hi. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Hey guys. So, um, I just got some coffee and um, a little pastry. I'm heading to work, but I kind of wanted to show you guys my bag. I know that you guys probably saw that I got a bag, and I don't like to do like big reveals and stuff, but I thought casually it'd be fun to share with you what I think of it so far. I've only had it for a couple days. It was, um, as always, these bags are like impulse buys, more like, not impulse. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get told for that. Not impulse buys. It's like, I like to collect bags. That's my thing. I don't have kids, right? Like, um, I work hard and that's what I like to do. So, if I like a bag and I'm like out to search, you know, if whatever. If I see something I like and I have the money at the time, I like to pick it up. Like, not that I do it all the time, but, um, whatever. Maybe for you guys, it's like it is all the time. For some people say that to me anyway um so yeah i was just like so i was like walking around i was like shopping in um beverly hills i hadn't been shopping in a while because i've been so busy like working a lot and i just wanted to go shopping so i wasn't even like in the market for anything like typically you know i always tell you guys that um but i walked into dior and i feel like dior has been so cute lately um i just loving their their things like i I really did want an, an additional big bag, and I just got the Givenchy, and I like it, but like I told you guys, I just feel like very basic with it. I do like it, I do use it for work all the time, um, but it's not like, I told you, it was not like, it never blew me away, I just was buying it for work. Um, so, I was just looking, I don't know what I was looking for. Okay, I really want a Birkin, but is it really dark in here, but I'm not going to get one. I feel like that should be a gift, that's a really special gift, um, it should be like, it should, if I buy one, I kind of want it to be like like the reason I bought it like a push present like a wedding gift I don't know I feel like something I don't even I don't know is that weird like I want it to like really mean something I feel like I can go buy one I can save up to buy one but I don't I want it to be like mean I want it to mean something maybe if like a good friend and I went and bought one together like I don't know like um it, like I want it for an event or an occasion or a purpose or a, a, a congratulations or something. I hope that makes sense. I'm not being stupid. Anyway, so I got I walked into Dior and I've I've always seen these, but I know they're expensive and I always kind of steered away from them because they're very like tea time ladies who lunch Queen Victoria looking. Well, they are they were princess dies bag, but they're very like they they're very classy and classic and like almost like old lady grandma beautiful very classic I don't know um not grandma because I think they look very cutesy um I just never been really drawn to it I remember the Dior saddlebag was one of my very first bags I ever purchased for myself I remember saving up for it by nannying when I was like I forget I forgot I think I was like 18 or 19 and I saved up for that bag in addition to with like for Christmas I asked for like money you know like my grandpa used to me $100 for Christmas and I was like hoarded all this money type stuff like to buy that bag I just haven't had anything Dior in a while so I walked in and I've when I thought about these bags I never thought I always see people with like a black one or a vintage one and no offense to anyone out there this is my personal opinion I'm just not that into like vintage vintage designer bags unless it's like a Birkin I guess that's okay but I just don't really that into it I don't know why um I don't know I love 
I love the going to the store and getting the bag and picking it out. It's like the whole shopaholic thing with it, right? It's just like it's the glamour of going in and choosing your own for your own bag and getting it in like wrapped beautifully in the box, not just having it delivered from like an online site that's been used before. That's my personal opinion, but a lot of people are like, whatever, I'm saving so much money doing it this this way. You're totally right. Like I buy used cars, I get it. Like I buy I buy things pre-owned a lot. <laughs> my watch is pre-owned, like I get it. Um, I would have loved to go and buy like a brand new Rolex, but no. Um, okay, so back onto the bag. Um, I walked in and if you guys know me, I don't buy things because I like, because I think because people have them um, or because I, I think that I think that like they're very trendy or things. I buy things because I like them. I saw this bag, this color, it immediately jumped out at me. The guy was like trying to sell me on the bag and I was like, can you please just wrap it up? I was thinking to myself, like he was telling me the history, but I was actually really appreciative of it. I'm gonna start driving this. I feel like it's a little bit um, dark in here. Maybe I'll like repark. He was telling me the history of it, and um, which I actually really appreciated. I'll tell you guys that it was modern, modeled after a jewelry box, and of course it was princess a, ma a bag made for a princess die. And um, but I think he was trying to like sell me on it, but I don't think he realized that I just wanted the bag. It was funny, um, lo but I love it. I love the color was so cute. It looks really good on me. Some bags make me look fat. I think I've told you guys this before. I have several bags that make me look fat. Like I have a little, like a tiny ones make me look fat because they're small and then it makes you look 10 times bigger than because it's like, you know, I don't know, like a small bag should be worn by small people, I feel like, and I do have several bags. Why are you just walking across the street? Didn't even look where you're going. You're disgusting, like, rude. Why, are you, like it's so rude. I am the kind of person, so I'm all over the place today. If a car is crossing, I will run. Even, I run, I will jog. You know, at least look like I'm trying. Even a crosswalk, people are just like, eh, 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 eh. Like, can you hustle at like, people? I don't know. I'm just not like that. Like, people are rude. I, I don't understand. That was rude, though. She's like, walked across, like, didn't even look, was like, I don't know what she was doing. Anyway, so yeah, I saw this bag, I immediately fell in love with it. I feel like the lighting's better over here, so I'm gonna show you the bag. Um, and I started, like, playing around with it, and I was like, I noticed the opening. I was like, this opening is gonna be a bitch. And I know a lot of people are commenting like, oh, it's a nice bag, but the opening is a bitch. Don't, don't get it. And I'm like, whatever. You know, I don't have a Dior bag. I want a, a Miss Dior. Like, I've always wanted one. I just, but the colors have always been just too conservative for me as far as this bag. Like, I feel like when I get, I feel like if it was gonna ever be this bag, it could not be a black or like a navy blue. Cause it's just so conservative, so boring, so, like, uh, like, oh my god, so boring. To me, to me, to me. If you guys like it, whatever. Anyway, I love this bag so much because it's a classic, classic bag. And it's in, like, the most pop of, fa pop of color, fun, girly, not expected color. It's beautiful. It, the color purple is absolutely amazing. It's like a light, dusty lavender color. It's so pretty. It's the perfect size. If I carry it like this, it looks cute. If I carry it with the long strap, it looks cute. It does. Okay, sorry, my um, memory card was wanted to delete some things. Okay, so I think I was talking about the pop of color. Anyway, I just love it. It's the perfect, it's really, really cute. It's, um, uh, it's, um, it's expensive. Am I doing the price thing? Okay, I'll do the price thing. And I, I know people like, a lot, a lot of people like this, um, but like, I just hate seeing it because yeah, it's expensive and it just made, I don't know, whatever. It, you can find it online. Oh, it's not in here. Usually the Chanel has a little tech. I think it was like 4,200. Okay. It's really expensive. I understand it was a big investment, but I worked really hard. Like I said, and I don't have to justify it, but I just wanted you guys to know it's not like I was like spending all my money on this bag or like, you know, like making a bad decision or was being irresponsible. Um, I don't have kids. I'm single type thing. Like, so it's, you know, it is what it is. Right. Anyway. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people have different, they're different. Yeah. Everyone has different things. Some people have families, some people have kids Some people are workaholics like me. <laughs> okay. Um, but the only thing is it's literally a pain in the effing ass to get in. Like, I know, and it's like a really a stupid, they need to just cut slits in here, but okay, so this is the top, and it's like really nice, it's beautiful, and the guy was trying to tell me, he's like, oh, well, they do put, because I was like, oh my gosh, it's really hard to get in, in and out of, and he's like, well, they do put like a soft lamb leather 
right here like so it doesn't scratch you but too bad there's a huge zipper that's going to scratch you when you come out of it anyway it's really hard to get in but once you get in it and i'm i don't really care if i'm pulling on the thing either like it needs to open up a little bit but once you get in the thing i have a makeup pouch a louis vuitton makeup pouch i have this in there um i have so let me show you guys how it's how hard it is to get out like It's probably gonna ruin your things too. Do not put like a lamb leather item in here because if you pull it out with that zipper, the lamp it will scratch your lamb leather. So I have these, this in here, and I have my key, my choker, my choker. That's it. And this is like I told you this is my catch-all that I like just transferred to all my different bags, but that is a pain. So like nothing. Like a big full size wallet would it fit in here, but it's a it's a bitch. So this is not like a first choice bag for people who are like wanting to invest in a bag, in, in an expensive bag because of that issue. If it was more easy to get in and out of, I would say yes. Also, this is patent, so maybe the lambskin one is because there was a lambskin option too, but I felt it was just too conservative for me. Like I wanted something fun, summery. Like this is. You guys know I dress like jean shorts and boyfriend blazers and just like simple dresses. I don't wear everything like. That's how I am with bags. I'm not gonna like match my bag to my outfit. I don't do that. I just wear it. Like it's a forty forty five hundred dollar bag. It goes with everything. Believe me. I don't care if I'm wearing pajamas. Like it goes with it. Um, this is how you guys should be too. Wear it if you like it. Who cares what people think? Like the like idea. I wear like a leather jacket with yoga pants. <laughs> Fun as fuck. Anyway, so I have to get to work now. I hope that was like a cute review. I really love it a lot. It reminds me of my Provence lavender Delphine. Let me see if you guys can see my new jewelry I'm wearing though too. Can you see it here? I gotta talk about this too. It's so amazing. So yeah, I actually I think I, I showed them when I was coming in when I was um I showed you guys my new pouches I got for each for the all the the crystal orders and like more if you buy like a more like if you buy like one choker, i I probably won't include that little zipper pouch with it because it's just um you know it's for like a, it's for like a more substantial order. But um you do get bags, just not that one. And so yeah, these are my new ones right now, and oh my god, like ugh, can't even do it. Like, but let me show you. If you're not, um, if you're not a color person, you just have a watch. Look at this one with the watch, because I know a lot of people are just like, look at that. Like that's something you just like wear everywhere. Well, I'm not me. I wear always wear like a hot, but look at that. Oh, they're just like so different and so unique. I literally cannot stop looking at it. If anyone has a cushion cut engagement ring, this, this is like a cushion cut. And if anyone has like an emerald or an asher cut engagement ring, that's what this one is like. So you guys can match them to your engagement rings too. <laughs> okay. What did I get today? I got an iced coffee. I went to the Le Pain place. Okay. So you just cut everyone off and you look like you're high. Um, I got an iced coffee with a little bit of half and half in it and some cinnamon. I probably shouldn't put the half and half in it. no stop for you but okay I'm not the crazy driver everyone around me is and I got this waffle and I love it but it's really fattening so I only have half it has like hard sugar on it it's so good In like the 30, well, we obviously wouldn't remember because we weren't around there, but in like the 40s and 50s era, they had like this, this full service gas places. There is full service around every once in a while, I see a full service, but the, it's so much more expensive to have like someone pump your gas. But I wouldn't, I want to do that so bad because I hate pumping gas, but they shouldn't make it so expensive. It's like, I think it's like, I don't know, it's like way more expensive. That's everywhere should be. If I had my own gas station, I would do full service everywhere for the same price because that place would be literally out the line. I would also offer like, if well, that would probably take too long, but I would be like offer like if they wanted like water bottle or something like, you know, that would be a really, that's a really good idea actually. Wouldn't cost anyone that much money just to have people pumping gas. 
like one at every station. One, how many stations are there? There's two, four, six, twelve. So twelve people. Yeah, that can add up. Never mind. Painful, Alex. Absolutely painful. I'm going the opposite direction right now because it's a really good spot right here, right next to an end, so that no one will hit me. Love it. I just took up like 400 spaces because it's like all open over there. so bad too. I should have put a pee at work, but I didn't. Okay. And then they have uh, Starbucks here too. I had an Alpha Loco salad for lunch, the 390 calorie one, but I didn't have any coffee. Did I have coffee? I had co yeah, I had coffee. Duh. I showed you guys this morning. Um, but I didn't finish it. So I kind of want a coffee, but I really need to pee. I don't know what turns doing that. I look like literally like homeless today. Disgusting. I'm wearing like my Nike flip flops. You, okay, guys, so you want to see my outfit of the day? Okay. You guys are gonna die. I'm just gonna show you because it's hilarious. It's so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away. Can you guys see me? I don't know if you saw my flip flops. Like, this is me on the regular though. I'm showing my flip flops. It's so embarrassing. Wow, so stylish. Um, yeah, decaf though for sure. Go to the home good part. I'm so bougie with my jockey over pants. Whatever, they're so much better than Lululemon. So expensive and so basic, bitch. Okay, jockey is not basic. Bitch. Sorry. I need to get a card. Do the cards here? I need cards. I need to get my brother like bought a house and um I wanna see if they have a card. Oh wow, Alex, you can find more Good, thank you. I thought she didn't tell me to turn my camera off and I was really pissed. Oh, the sales section. I love the clearance. Look the clearance dollars that's like not a good deal they have all these like you know those like cheesy like signs that people like have in their house like like this like blah 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 sunshine they have always on sale for like five bucks I want like a plastic pool 
like glasses for like sangria. 